You would have ever wanted to try to try to welcome back to Pokemon Sword. I'm legit about to cry, guys. Scroll down and shank that like button. Let's let's see how many likes we can get in this episode. This is the final episode of Sword and Shield. Everyone shank that. Everyone shank the like button. Let's go with the banger. I want to see how many likes we can get, guys. So I'm I'm legit about to freaking cry. I did not want to start this episode. I want I don't want this game to end, man. I want to go back to when I was just fighting Nessa, walking through Hallberry. I remember it like it was yesterday, dude. Me doing the battle and then going on to edit it like it feels like such a long time ago, and it was. I, I, I want to go back to it. Like, I don't want this game to end. But, I guess it's going to end. So we're going to do the final thing we have to do. We went into the battle tower. We saw our unexpected guest. Now there's just one last thing to do in this game before we call it quits. And before we put this game down for good. And that's heading to Spike Moot. So, let's go there. You can't even fly there directly. So... Oh, you can go in the thing now. God, I really just need to sit for a moment and think. Like, this is the final thing. God damn it, man. So we're heading to Spike Muth over here. This is where Marnie is. And Marnie became a gym leader. We're gonna see what she looks like and everything. Oh, guys. You know, if there... So, there isn't more to do in this game. I've been, you know, thinking. I've been reading your comments. I've tried to do everything that we can do. Honestly, I gotta say, everyone... Everyone leaving all the likes. And all the fun comments has made this such a fun season <laughs> so cool man so freaking cool I just wanted to look at that one more time one last time all right we're gonna head into spike mood let's do it I was gonna evolve some Pokemon in our party but we've got everything we need we're heading in Yep, I remember coming in here, guys. I remember coming in here. This music. I'm a huge fan of Piers. I really fancy seeing him in more matches. At the end of the day, this place... This place would be more lively if there are more gym challengers. Even a rundown place like this is important for the people in Pokemon to live here. Yeah, of course. Marnie! Oh, frick, what's up, Marnie? Mad Chairman Rose is the best. What are you talking about? What what just happened? Why was he blocked there? What was that? <laughs> Seeing Marnie here, man. I feel like I'm about to do the last event in the game. <laughs> and then we're done. What's up, Marnie? What's up, Marnie? What you doing over there? Me? I'm just here as a part-time job. I'm fee oh, me, I'm just here as a part-time job. I'm fee yelling in for the proper league stuff. Fee yelling? Fee yelling in. I want to cheer a lot more. Man, Chairman Rose is the best. What's up, girl? She chilling on the... The rail? Pokemon have got to work hard for the gym trainer like me to do well. Cheers, mate. Cheers indeed. Man, I thought they ripped up posters of Chairman Rose. They like him? Surely Chairman Rose is not like Marnie's dad. I like Piers as the leader. Well... Well... Don't say that when Marnie's around. Okay, sure, for, let's get this out of the way. Chairman Rose is not Marnie's dad and Piers is dad. But uh, it's uh, interesting to see posters of him here and then people actually liking him. I just want to take a quick look over here, alright? Give me a sec. We. Are you kidding me? Wow! That. The electric Yeah, the electric guitar comes out when you go up there. What's up, yo? I love these Galarian zigzagoons. So uh, we have to check out Zashian and Eternus' Pokemon extension. We'll do this. We'll do it. We'll do it in this episode. What's up? Speaking of Piers, he refuses to Dynamax his Pokemon. But the chairman tried to move the gym to a kind of far away place near a power spot. Okay. Closing the shutter to sabotage the other challengers was a right poor sportsmanship. Yeah, but you guys did it. Even Piers didn't know you were doing that. I won't quit, Team Yell. I'll keep cheering for Marnie. 
So if Marnie really is the new leader of uh, of the new 7th gym leader, then she became the leader of Team Yell. She literally became it. The jokes we were making. How about your Obstagoon for my Cantonian Mr. Mime? I don't have an Obstagoon. Beers! Oh, he's really here! <laughs> He's back here! He tagged along for up. I'm so glad he chose here still! I thought he doesn't go back to Spike with for some reason, just because he was with Milo over there. He freaking... He freaking tagged along with us to fight those Dynamax. He's like, I'm never doing this again. Never call me again. I'm so glad we could just see him here. Because we can't see all the gym leaders again. But at least we can see him here. God, Lanoon is huge. Pierce, 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 we love Spike Mood. I'm sending cheers to you. I love you. I'm sending cheers to you. Pierce! We can't cut his performance. That's so sick. Oh! What we're hearing right now is the, is the boom, is the speakers over here. I love it, man. I love it. They're just having a good time here. How do they make me love Team Yell? They look ridiculous in the beginning. Wait for it. That's why it fades away, because you're getting further away from him. That's cool. Alright, let's go talk to Marnie, guys. I don't know what to expect here. But she's the counterpart to Bede. You know what's so weird? I thought Bede was a psychic trainer, and I thought Marnie was a fighting trainer when I first fought them. Turns out Bede was a psychic trainer, but he gives up to become fairy. And Marnie turned out to be a dark trainer the entire time. It's kind of cool that I misinterpreted both of them. Alright guys, let's do this. Sorry, I just like to explore the area. This is Marnie's time, I know it. Marnie! Hello Marnie! Wank, you look a little more champion-like, huh? Only a little though. What are you gawking at? It's exactly what you think. I look wicked as a gym leader, right? I want to show everyone that even if you can't Dynamax, you can still use other tactics to have a lot of fun. Come on, champ. How about an exhibition match? Yeah! Now's not a good time. Sure, that's it. Spike moves my home turf, after all. It's only natural you'd feel nervous. Oh! Oh, because it's home, home court advantage. So this is what you think it's about. Marnie? Come on, champ. All right, of course. Don't get the wrong idea. This ain't you using me for training. I'm using you for training. Got it? Let's do this. What's up, Marnie? Pokemon trainer Marnie. Okay. She's the gym leader. That's so... Okay, gym leader team. Wait, it said Pokemon trainer Marnie instead of gym leader Marnie. We could not use Zacian. Level 59, Smarty? What do you think this is? I'm not gonna use Ashian. Let's go into Chunky. It's, it's, it's a funny gag that uh, Piers... Uh, he was constantly like tripping over whether Marty would be safe. Also, her theme is so sick. Yo, I'm, I'm a freaking sucker, dude. I'm a sucker. I cried when Undertale ended. I'm literally about to cry once I end this episode. And hearing these themes just take me back through the nostalgia of this game. When I first fought her, first heard the theme, got my ass whipped by the Morpeko. I'm a sucker, dude. I get way into it. This is why I'm at least Morpeko. I'm at least like a little happy that I get to... That I got to share my experience with you guys. So it's like, it's not lost forever. At least the fun that I had is like, immortalized and you guys can see it. And I can go back and see it too. That's the only little bit I hope I get. <laughs> that stops me from freaking balling, dude. I really get into games. Alright, dude, you're more peko. The only reason I won't get my ass whipped too much is because I've kinda... I've kind of become one of the two heroes. Cool the fighter again. Whammy. Oh, our team. I love seeing Zashi level 71. Toxic Croak. If I had my bomb, it'd be nice. Alright. We'll use the Whammage. 
sorry, I'm just listening to the music. So cool, dude. I'm also, like, I've said this, I'm also thinking back to, uh... Our gym challenge being... Getting further, going further, further away in the past. It becomes a story of us four. So me and Hop, being a Marnie. Me and Hop will become the, the heroes. And Marnie, who becomes a gym leader. And Vita becomes a gym leader. It's a very, very cool story. It's the kind of thing that once everyone splits apart, you wish you could go back to the days we were doing the gym challenge. So what's your last Pokemon? I suppose she doesn't choose a certain order. Have I died? Yeah, Marnie. Marnie, you got all these hoodlum Pokemon. Are you a hoodlum? You know what I want to see? I want to see Marnie wearing Team Yell uniform! How come it said Pokemon Trainer Marnie? How come it didn't say Gym Leader Marnie? I want to verse you as a Gym Leader. How strong are Pokemon? Is she just a little weaker than Bead? I'm not- I don't remember what Bead's team was. Alright. Last Pokemon, Marnie. Oh, it's uh... It's- it's- it's uh, Jim Joe, right? This is what she could get- Gigantamax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grimmsnarl. Alright. I wanna show you my good boy. I want to show you my good boy. Level 60. Please say something. She didn't say anything. Bro, I'm so sad, guys. I'm so sad. I I don't. I can't deal with this. With games ending. With this. Frick. The more you guys get to know me, the more you're gonna realize how much of a wuss I am. Yeah, I lost. But I'm gonna learn from your battle style and everything, Marnie. As expected, you're a proper champion, ain't you, Wang? Okay, I'm gonna give you something important. So keep it safe, I'll get mad, got it? Oh, it's her rare leak card! Okay, one last leak card to read! Marnie! Come back anytime! Marnie, I wanna fight you as a gym leader! I wanna see her in Team Yell uniform! Is she embarrassed by it or something? Oh, I thought I could fight her right now! Can... Can I do something and and, and, and and we get the the team skull fight? I shouldn't be saving. I'm literally saving so I don't like so I don't restart and keep doing it. You guys know when I uh, did the Xenia thing in Orez, I never saved and I kept doing it again and again because like the music and everything made me so freaking emotional, dude. I'm such a wuss. Alright, let's look at Marnie's card. Now, what's the old Marnie? This freaking picture, Marnie. All right, and the new Marnie? Oh! <laughs> oh, shoot! She looks sick! Whoa! Fierce Chipper! It's your baby sister! It's the new gym leader! Oh, she looks sick! Why can't I fight her like this? She's literally the leader of Team Yell. That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like, we have a freaking former leader. No, 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 no. Show, show him this. Former Team Yell leader. Former Team Yell boss. His signature has a skull on it. Team Yell logo is literally the bite, the, the dark type biting logo rotated. And then we got the new leader. Oh, she's so sick. Holographic. Is that a freaking smiley, Marnie? What's with y'all signatures? Oh. 960 Poor bug has a fake card Alright, let's read it What are- Dude, we've come such a far way Marnie's original card 
Bear with me, guys. I'm freaking... As a child, she was timid. Yeah, this is the card where we got hints about her brother and her brother gave her the Morpeko. However, she became more... Ch Look at this. As a child, she was timid and a bit of a crybaby. However, she became more cheerful as she played with the Pokemon she received from her brother. That's so sweet. And her talents grew as a trainer. She joined the gym challenge to bring life back to Spike Mood. And she doesn't pursue fame. But she appreciates Team Yell. It all comes together. She doesn't need the champion title. She's a gym leader who can keep appreciating Team Yell. And her brother who gave her her first Pokemon and turned her from being a crybaby into a more happier person. She gets to take over for him. Let's read it, guys. She was appointed as the new gym leader of Spike Mood by her brother Piers. Piers caught more Pekka and gave it to her when she was five. She still finds herself at the mercy of more Pekka's mood swings even now. The local dialect of Spike Mood has a distinct kick to it. And many of Marnie's fans have started mimicking her. Dialect means like way of talking, right? So her accent? You're mimicking her accent? Shut your gob! Remember when she said that? Why am I? The local dialect of a spike mode has a distinct kick to it. And many of Marnie's fans have started mimicking her. Oh! Okay, okay. It's not Team Yell mimicking her. They're from here and they have the same dialect. It's the, it's the fans across the region. Because look at her. She's a freaking gym leader. Oh, I'm so glad. How come you got the ripped tights, Marnie? Can you get a new pair? Marnie won't change her expression even when she's angry. But once something sets her off, she stays angry for a long time. <laughs> so she's the opposite of Morpeko. I've never seen angry Marnie. I kind of want to see angry Marnie. So cool. It's her usual pose when she throws a Pokeball. But she's the opposite of Morpeko. So Morpeko constantly goes back and forth. She keeps herself composed. But when she's angry, she's... She won't freaking get back to normal. Oh man, that's the end, guys. I really wish we could, uh, we could fight her as gym leader. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I really wish we could fight her with her gym leader uniform. I wish there was just one last thing in this game. I really do, man. Oh god, I need y'all to cheer me up, okay? Freaking cheer me up in the comments, guys. I freaking can't take this. I miss this game. I really miss it. One last thing to do, and then we're done this game, guys. Uh, we're gonna go read Eternatus and Zacian's Pokedex Entry. Uh, and then we'll speculate a bit, and then we're done with this game. We'll cut it. We'll cut the cord. So let's do this. Zacian. Now, I think I've seen this. Now armed with the weapon it used in ancient times, this Pokemon needs only a single strike to fell even Gigantamax Pokemon. Armed with the weapon it used in ancient times. So it's either a weapon someone gave to Zacian, or a weapon Zacian himself made a long time ago. And it wasn't a simple weapon made, it was like a, a, a weapon made over like many years of fighting. And so that's why it can transform when it gets it back. But given enough time, Zacian can make another. You're freaking fighting steel? That's so weird that they're different typings. Really? Zamazent is fighting. Zashin is fairy. Okay, so they're 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 type their typings work on each other. Like fighting is normal effective on Zashin. Yamper, too popular. And fairy is normal effective on Zamazenta. That's really cool. Wait, he can't wa how? Because he got a sword in his mouth. Dude, I love Zashian's luck. Like the jaw open just intensely watching. It's freaking so cute. So adorable. Alright, you turn to this. I'm sorry, I really enjoy this game, guys. Eternatus. Have we seen the Pokedex Sentry? The core on its chest absorbs energy emanating from the lands of the Gala region. This energy is what allows Eternatus to stay active. 
There is no way it turned it. Wait a minute. There's another thing to read. Holy frick. 2,000 pounds, 65 feet? Obviously from head to tail, but that's... 65 feet. That's 10 people standing on top of each other. Like 11. Uh... This is not Eternatus. This is some remnants form. There's no way this is what it looked like back then. This is like Necrozma on Sun and Moon. It, it must have a real form. I really want to see it come back in a third version. Let me just look at it. It could look like some sort of alien looking Pokemon. And so this is what it looks like. But it also looks like, like the skeletal structure. And it's supposed to look a lot different. But it is poison and dragon. So it's a dragon and it's corrupted. Let's see the other entry. I'm like, is that cry gonna stay forever? It's like a seven second cry. Gigantic Pokemon. Frick! 321 feet! 321 feet! Now it's coiled up! This has to be one hand of Eternatus. Literally. What does Eternus look like here? I mean, its face is a hand. Its face is literally a hand. But this thing is a hand. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Its core goes up there. Dude, there must be some sort of mystery we can uncover for the third version. Let's read its entry. As a result of Rose's meddling, Eternatus absorbed all the energy in the Galar region. It's now in a state of power overload. Okay. So it took this form temporarily upon getting a lot of energy. So it's sort of like Necrozma getting all the energy from Solgaleo and turning into Ultra Necrozma. But there's no way this thing just stayed in the sky in ancient times and tormented people. I mean, it makes sense. Like, there'd be this big storm in the sky. And in the center of it, all the people while they live in fear in this region with titans roaming around. In the center of the storm, like in the eye of a hurricane, is this thing just watching everyone and, and being the leader. And so the kings, the two people had to escape from their village, go find Sachin and Zamas into a, in a forest. Pray to them and ask for their help. And then like a, a Zelda battle, they go and attack that spot in like the eye of the hurricane, which is Eternatus. And they slay it, they seal it. When they, it, uh, they either slayed it and then it fell down as a little baby core that they sealed away somewhere. Or they just sealed this giant thing away. But what I'm getting at is... Is it in a state of power overload? And in the sense that this is its ultimate form? Or can it harness this and take on one more form? One step further. Either with more power or by harnessing it. Is that it? Eternamax? Wait a second, Eternamax? Let me see something. Charizard. They all got Pokedex entries? First of all, it says Gigantamax. This colossal, flame-winged figure of a Charizard was brought about by Gig Gigantamax Energy. So there's Dynamax, there's Gigantamax, now there's Eternamax? For Eternatus, it's called Eternamax? Your cry is so long, oh my god. So it's when Pokemon can react in a, in a compatible way to bits of the Eternamax energy that they can achieve their own form, Gigantamax. What is the conspiracy that Pokemon don't actually get bigger? So does Charizard actually st stay the same size and get the flamed wings and all, but it like... It like it's a freaking Sasano, like... It's inside controlling a bigger version of itself, is that what they mean? I don't know. Alright guys. 
We are done this game. We are done this game. Everyone, shank it. Everyone, scroll down and shank that like button. I want to see potentially how many likes we can get on the final episode. You guys, bro, the first episode, you guys murdered 10k likes. It made me so happy, guys. Uh, likes don't even do anything. All it does is just make me really happy. Uh, shank that like button. I'll see you guys in the next series. Tell me what we should play next. I've, I've enjoyed this, man. I, I, I want to see what Pokemon adds next. So guys, one more update actually. We gotta spend a few more minutes together playing this game. So, someone actually told me to, to look up the Pokedex entries since I'm playing Pokemon Sword and so I can't see all the Pokedex entries. So for the first time, I'm gonna look something up about this game and I'm gonna show you guys screenshots. We're just gonna, because we want to speculate a bit more, we're gonna look up what Zacian and Zamazenta's Pokedex entries are. Let's go to another place with more uh, theorizing music. Just, just to leave off on a note of like mystery, for for whatever they do next with Pokemon. All right, still on side. One of my favorite themes. So I'm gonna look up uh, Zacian and Zamazenta's entries. Maybe Eternamax, Eternatus's entries. And let's let's have a bit of mystery going into the next games while this lady looks at me. So hopefully I'm still recording. First we got Zacian. God, first time I'm looking something up. That means I'm really done this game. So Zacian has got Zacian, Hero of Many Battles form, and the Crowned Sword form. So Zacian has four Pokedex entries. Two of them we saw already. I don't have anyone, I don't have Pokemon Shield, so I can't see these entries. But if you have Pokemon Shield, it says this Pokemon has slumbered for many years. Some say it's Zamazenta's elder sister. Others say that the two Pokemon are rivals. Zashin is a girl? Yo! Elder si Elder sister Zashin. Wait, wait. Where that sword? They're freaking siblings. It's confirmed. Thank you guys for telling me to read this. Oh my god. I'm so glad I found out this way than just like seeing it on the internet one day. Elder sister, I gotta change your name to good girl. Oh, that's so cool. So elder sister and little baby brother. So elder sister has the typing to whip the little brother's ass. Of course they're even. They're even. They're even, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make fun of Zamazenta like that. I freaking love him. Oh shoot, Zashin! I freaking love that! Fairy typing too, it works to be a, a serene typing. <laughs> That's the thing, so when, uh, when Zamazenta was hopping up to go, like, eat up, beat him up, his, his older sister pops up like, Dude, calm yourself. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and they talk to each other, okay, okay. And then when you put the sword on it, when it's in the crowned sword form, it says, Sashian, able to cut down anything with a single strike. It became known as the Fairy King's Sword. And it inspired awe in friend and foes alike. Huh, so that's the Fairy King's Sword. Okay, I don't- why Fairy King? Like, is there a Fairy King that gave you the sword? I don't know, maybe Gen 9 there's a Fairy King Legendary. Wouldn't that be crazy? If for if for the first time, like <laughs> the cover legendaries actually come from a future region. But okay. Fairy King Sword. So my idea with your sword was that you made it yourself over many years. The Fairy King's sword. Huh. I'm not sure because I would think you're the fairy king. But you would be the fairy queen, your girl. Why? Okay. Let's look at Zamazentas before... Before we're stumped. Alright, Zamazentas. First of all, Zamazenta weighs... Zamazenta weighs twice as much. Because Zamazenta's wearing all the shield armor. Okay. Let's see if it says it's the younger brother. So it's called the crown shield form. And also the hero of many battles. And it has to hold rusted shield. Okay. So when Pokemon Sword... 
in its uncrowned form, it says, In times past, it worked together with a king of the people to save the Gala region. It absorbs metal that it then uses in battle. Okay, it worked with the king of the people, right. It's the real royalty. Zashin and Zamazenta, her and him, they're the actual ones that saved Galar. The king is just the, the elder. Did nothing. And in Pokemon Shield, it says, This Pokemon slept for aeons while in the form of a statue. Aeons? A long period of time. In the form of a statue. It was asleep for so long, people forgot it ever existed. That's so sad, man. It slept in the form of a statue. So, when we saw those two rocks that they came out of, maybe they weren't graves. Maybe they became statues to go into long slumber. Like, I suppose they protect the Gala region, but... I suppose after destroying the Darkest Day Storm, they can go into a slumber. If it is a reoccurring thing. Alright. That's so sad they get uh, forgotten. When you crown it now... Wait. Now that it's equipped with the shield, it can shrug off impressive blows, including the attacks of Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. Its ability to def- last entry. Its ability to deflect any attack led it to be known as the Fighting Master's Shield. It was feared and respected by all. I don't understand this. Why Fairy King for her? It actually looks like older sister and younger brother too. I freaking love this. Why did you get the Fairy King's sword and you get the Fighting Master Shield? I was gonna say if maybe there's like a legendary above Zashin and Zamazenta that gave them their weapons, like like a father to these two wolves, and maybe we'll meet them in the third version. I keep speculating a third version. But fighting Master Shield and Fairy King's Sword. Maybe it is a wolf. Maybe it's a wolf that has both the, the, the like all the armor. <laughs> as well as the sword in its mouth. And so this father wolf gave the Fairy King's Sword to Zashian, his older daughter. And his shield, the Fighting Master Shield. To Zamazenta. That's a theory. That's cool. Maybe, dude. Maybe, okay. Last theory. We're ending Pokemon Sword and Shield forever. It's fun to end it off on a mystery. I love it. Last theory. Maybe the way this mythology works. Because Zashin and Zamazenta aren't connected to Returnitus the way, like, Garatina is connected to Dialga and Palkia. And Akrozma to uh, Sogol and Lunala. Maybe it's connected in a different way. Maybe, if you go back many, many years, it was Zamazenta and Zashian's father, right? The Fairy King Shield, the Fairy King Sword and Fighting Master Shield original wielder that fought against Eternatus, right? So like 100,000 years ago when Eternatus first popped up, they fought. And maybe the, the father figure, the father wolf died and its two kids took over with each of the weapons. Clearly, these Pokedex entries come from super ancient times. Stuff Sony would have figured out. Because everyone in the current times forgot these Pokemon existed. That's it, guys. Scroll down and shank like. There is one more thing we can do. Let's look at Paternitas' entry. I feel so cheap. I love it. Let's do this. Four more entries. We've seen two of them. The first one... Let's see if this supports our idea. Of, uh, there being an original father to Zashin and Zamazenta. I freaking love it so much. Elder sister Zashin, little brother Zamazenta. Okay, in Pokemon Sword, it says the core in its chest absorbs energy emanating from the lands of the Gala region. This energy is what allows Eternatus to stay alive. So it's absorbing the energy that it lost when it originally did the Darkest Day Storm. So clearly it must have had a different form. And then this form is a temporary form when it gets all that energy back. I feel like it could harness this and turn into something. Give it to me in the third version. Alright, in Pokemon Shield it says... For this form it says... It was inside a meteorite that fell 
20,000 years ago. There seems to be a connection between this Pokemon and the Dynamax phenomenon. They just threw more my way. Okay. 20,000 years ago is the legend of Galar. Okay. 20,000 years ago, this dude fell in a meteor to Galar. Okay. Okay, this lines up with some comments I've seen. I don't know how many are theories. This is real. 20,000 years ago, this dude fell in a meteor. This is odd because, like, wishing stars can't come from the sky as separate meteors, and then somehow they're related to him. Not all meteors are Eternatus. He's just some alien species that came from another planet. The only other way is if it was a giant meteorite, a meteor, and it broke apart in the atmosphere, and the main meteor fell onto Earth as Eternatus, and then parts of it, so like, a hundred little bits from that original meteor continue to circle around Earth and then every now and then they fall and those are the wishing stars. That's so cool. So dude, 20,000 years ago, Zashin and Zamazenta's father, who had the Fairy King sword and the ability to make uh, weapons out of, it, out of absorbing metals just like its two kids could do, it made the Fairy King sword and the Fighting Master shield and originally fought Eternatus. That's, that's how they're connected. Last entry. For its Eternamax form, infinite amounts of energy pour from this Pokemon's enlarged core, warping the surrounding time space. Ooh, this is what we saw when we we're fighting it. We saw like past memories. Ooh, warping time space. How far could Pokemon take this? Like, imagine you can warp time space, and like when it originally fought the like the the father. Of Zashin and Zamazenta. It sent it somewhere into a different time period. Whether far in the past or far in the future. Maybe in like a sequel game. Suddenly the dude just pops out of nowhere. In a, in a rip. It was so cool. I'm kind of sad. I, I, don't, I don't have Pokemon Shield to see these entries. I'm so glad I got to read them. Okay guys. That's the mystery. We're going we're gonna to live our next year with no Pokemon thinking about this is a Pokemon so strong it warps time and space and Zashin and Zamazenta carry the Fairy King's sword and shield that must have been given to him and her by someone and Zashin and Zamazenta are elder sister and baby brother respectively and must maybe must have come from a father figure and let's say that the father well, fought with Eternatus 20,000 years ago and there's a whole legend behind what we know about the twin heroes that really happened. We know it came 20,000 years ago. You're telling me that 20,000 years ago, the day this dude arrived, that there was not a Darkest Day Storm? That is, it is not 20,000 years ago that the story of the two kings is from. That's from like 3,000 years ago. There's a whole other thing that happened in the past that we just don't know about. It must have been an even bigger battle. Alright guys, that was fun. That was fun. That's the end of Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's, it's actually cheered me up a little. It's uh, ended up on a, on a fun, mysterious, uh, speculative note. I was really down, guys. I still am down, but I'll cry a little less now. I'm gonna see you guys. Scroll down and shine that like button. Let's get as many likes as we can for this episode. I'll look at it later. Let's see how many likes we can get in this. Make me proud, guys. Make me happy, actually. I just want to be happy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Leave me your theories in the comments. Hopefully, I'm not the only one who's really interested in all this. Wait, if it has a Dynamax Beam, does it have an Eternamax Beam? Add me, let me know your theories, too, and we'll, we'll freaking solve this and hopefully it continues in the third version. I'll see you guys. Peace.